Hello and welcome to another part of the Django REST image upload example video. Today we want to make this upload form look a little bit nicer um, in the sense of that we want to provide the user a way of not only seeing the image here but also once you selected the image seeing it here. Alright, to do this the first thing we need to do is to install uh, Angular library. This Angular library is called ng-file-upload. Um, you can find it on GitHub. Uh, Daniel Farid is the, the author, or at least the owner of the GitHub repo. Uh, seems to have a lot of stars, a lot of forks, a lot of people watching it. It has a very nice demo page um, where you can just try out some things and configure them. As you see, it does support drag and drop as well and other things, and it has a very well written tutorial. It has examples for a normal upload form, multiple files, upload single file, drop, image crop and upload, and many, many other things. Let's just dig into this image crop. Um, essentially, what does this library need? Do you need to add ng file upload? ng image crop is now just something else. Um, you need to select the picture, for instance, this one, and it's loaded. And oh, uh, I see what it's doing. You can then select an image and part of it if if you want to. That's what ng image crop is doing. I have, to, I have to add in another project, but we're not gonna use that today. Anyway, this library essentially just takes a button or an anchor tag or whatever you want, you add the ngf select tag and you say what you want to accept. In this case we want to accept images. Or you could make a drop area where you can just drag and drop the picture from a file. Um, we're gonna do that but we're gonna do that later. So first things first we're gonna add the library to our project and let's just try out this ngf select. All right. We need to go into our image upload front end static because that's where our node modules is. So we need to do this CD Django REST image upload backend, image upload front end. I think that's uh, static. Static, okay. Then we just do npm install ng minus file minus upload. And now we should find it in here. Yes, great. Um, we need to include the uh, JavaScript file that this thing is providing us. So we're going to go up here in our index.html and just add node modules ng file upload dist ng minus file minus upload dot min dot js. I like to double check by clicking on it. Seems like this version of the IDE of PyCharm isn't supporting it. Again, I'm using the PyCharm Community Edition, so I'm just using this for syntax highlighting and some code completion. It does not have the, all the features of the Professional Edition, but I believe for this tutorial the Community Edition is more than enough, and I urge you all to try it if you do not own a Professional Edition license of PyCharm. Anyway, um, we just added this uh, ngf file upload dot min dot js here. I will see if that works <laughs> in a second. Another thing we need to do is we need to go in our app js where we define our Angular module, and we're defining ng resource. Uh, we're defining a model here that that says we, it needs ng resource, and it also now needs ng file upload. That's what the library is called. And uh, we're just gonna go into the web browser, open up. Uh, I just clicked it by accident. Open up our console window and see if it outputs any errors when we refresh the page. No errors whatsoever. That's great. Good. So far, things have worked. Now, the tricky part. The tricky part comes in editing the upload form. This is the upload form where it says select image and input ID type equals file and files model. Now if you remember the files model directive was something we added. That was this directive here that we took from a GitHub or Stack Overflow post. We will not need this directive anymore uh, with the ng file upload. So let's get this away. 
The next thing we also don't have to have is an input. However, I think in this case we just leave the input, we leave it as type file as well. We could make it a button, but I think for this it's fine as an input. And we only have to add ngf minus select. We need to say ng model. I think I just deleted that, or I deleted the old file model directive. We're now saying ng model equals new image dot image. And I think we can give this a name of file. <laughs> and we need to say what we want to accept. We want to accept images of any format for now. No restrictions on the format. But we want to restrict this with a maximum size of 10 megabyte. That's an arbitrary value. Increase it if you like. Um, it's fine by me. We're gonna say that this field is required because why upload an image and not provide the image, right? And we're gonna say ngf model invalid equals error file. We're gonna check that out in a second, I believe. Now we've given our, our form, or actually our input field, the name file. There's a very simple reason for that. Uh, this is so we can display an error message. For instance, we're gonna make an attack here that displays file to large. This tag is shown if form.file.error.max size is set. This is something that NGF file upload will, will set if you upload a file that's just too large. And even better, we can display not just the message that the file is too large, we can also display how big it is. I can say error file, that's what we said in the NGF model invalid here. Error file dot size divided by, uh, I believe this is one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Let me double check that in my other code. Yeah. It's six zeros. Um, we want to format that into a number with one uh, decimal number. And this is in megabytes. And the maximum we allow is 10 M, 10 megabytes. So we just write it here. Okay. Now, what this does is very simple. This only provides an upload button. Let's just refresh the page here. It appears that nothing has changed, right? But we can still upload the picture. Let's try if it works. Yes. But we're not getting a, a preview picture yet. E essentially, we have the same behavior as before. Plus, we have an error file thing here if the file is too large. And we say this is required. So next thing we need is a preview. This is also not hard to do with uh, ng file upload. ng file upload is perfectly suited for that. We just want to show an image. We want to show the image if the file, this is this one, is valid, angular dollar valid, same as dollar error here. And if it is valid, we just use the ngf thumbnail directive. This directive is, is very, very useful because you don't always necessarily want to show the whole image. Imagine somebody uploads a 9 megabyte image. Why would you want to show the, the 9 megabyte image to the user? You just want to show a thumbnail in most cases. Okay, then we just need to set a class here. I usually do image responsive. So the image scales with the actual width of the page. And in this case, I want to set the max width uh, to 50%. We could also make a bootstrap row and columns around that, uh, but that's OK for now. And I want to do one more thing. I want to give the user the ability to just kind of cancel this upload. So I'm going to add a warning button here that says remove image. And all it needs to do on ng click is new image dot image equals null. We could also just call a, a method and put it on a scope here. This is just for quick and dirty purposes. All right, that should be enough uh, for here. So we're just gonna reload our page and okay, remove image button is here. We can probably uh, only show it if the form file is valid. So we just added an entry show here. 
there we go, because why wanna show it if it's not there? And we're gonna select this picture where you see some area, some sea, some boats, a haven, whatever. And 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 and, and there we go. It took a little bit for loading because internally this is this has to be re-rendered by the directives, uh, but that's fine. But and it, it's loaded in here, and I can remove the image again. There we go. And then it tells me, oh well, you, boy, you need to select the file. <laughs> sure, I did the wrong image, so I select the Eiffel Tower maybe. Oh, we saw a nice uh, <laughs> little thing here. It did reset the file. However, the ng file uh, thumbnail directive here still had the old image in its cache. Um, there's a little trick to that. We could make this an ng if. Now the difference between ng if and ng show is if you have ng if the element is completely removed from the DOM if dollar valid is false. So let's just see the difference if it does work. I select picture one and it's being loaded and I say remove image and I select picture 2 and there we go there's picture 2 now the difference is I have an NGF here so the element is removed from the DOM as soon as dollar valid becomes false this means it is re-added to the DOM as soon as dollar valid is true and then this thumbnail is re-rendered there's probably a bug in the library or something because they should just re like remove the image if 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 it changes but I guess they have some caching mechanisms going on so whatever that's fine all right now as I said we don't need files model directive here so goodbye files model directive we can do a feature of PyCharm here let's demonstrate it save delete with user search and it deleted it <laughs> guess it didn't work. No, did not work. Never mind. Um, we need to delete file model search here. And that's it for now, I guess. All right. And one more thing that I have on my list. We have this weird behavior now that if we upload a picture, that it stays in here. And we could upload it again and again and again and again and again. That is nice if you just want to test the performance of your REST API. Uh, that is definitely not the desired behavior for most users. So what we want to do when we have upload image and when new image is done, we want to reset new image here. And I'm going to add some, yeah, reset new image. There we go. Let us try this, choose, and let's just take a picture, and upload. And it's reset. And if you upload again, it will tell me, please select the file. Perfect. Alright, that's it for now, and see you next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Give me a like, hit the subscribe button if you want to, and have fun trying this out.